Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look how we can easily empty our OriMDB database uh, which with, with a lot of input inside. So during the development of one of the applications I experienced this as quite cumbersome to just empty the input in the database and to know exactly what's going on during development. So in this case I had a class which is called notes and there is a lot of stuff inside. Uh, many versions as you can see and a different input. In this case it just shows two tabs. If I want I can change it. I'll do this later. Now in this video I just show a very simple select command where we can empty all the different versions and stuff inside here. So short introduction in what is actually going on in my environment. So here I have a notes, uh, which is basically the node as we, as we know it from OriMDB and, and working with graph databases. And we have uh, edges, and as you can see, they link to each other. So here the output and input of an edge is related to something which is inside nodes. So the great thing here is if we empty our nodes, our edges are, are automatically uh, removed, or in, if we want, we can add them. So uh, just to give you a little bit more complete insight, we can of course uh, increase the limit here for the search query. And then when we'll say, give me everything in thousands, then you'll see that we have a larger list with input inside. Now, as you can see, this one is one of the most important ones where we have to work with, with these version, because I figured out that if we uh, do a delete command with a note vertex, as we know it from OriMDB, and we say we get it from a certain version and then we set it to one, um, it only deletes this version one, for example. So I just give the example, let's, let's do, let's set it now to is 11. So we'll see that this one will be removed. And then once we query this again, we'll see that the number 11 is not inside there anymore from, in my case, Ruben. Now, I don't want to do this for every version. So I just want to have one simple command that does everything. So what I've figured out here is that by saying, give, just delete everything above the version zero, if we run this, it takes a little bit more time sometimes depending on the amount of data inside. But the interesting thing now is once we query this again and we say give me everything from this class notes, it's empty. And then of course we have the edges, but since they are related to the notes, they are also empty now. So this was a, basically a short tips and tricks which I figured out for myself, which I thought it was worth sharing with you. So if you have further questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the, in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.